Kazam. Oh my god. This 1996 movie sucks. This movie all started when a wrecking ball destroys an abandoned building, the impact knocking over a magic lamp inside and causing it to land on a boombox. The genie inside decides to make residence inside the boombox from there on. Meanwhile, a 12-year-old boy named Max Connor goes to school. He greets his friend, Jake, with a goofy face and is chastised by his teacher. Max is confronted by a gang of bullies, who hold him on the bathroom floor and spray paint his outline. The bullies chase Max through Brooklyn. Max is chased into the abandoned building, where he discovers the boombox and accidentally unleashes the genie inside. The genie, who introduces himself as Kazam, a 5,000-year-old genie, tells Max that he is now Max's genie and proves it to him by demonstrating his powers, which results in Kazam disappearing off the face of the earth. Max spots his father in passing during his return home from school and finds that his mother is marrying a fireman named Travis O'Neill. Max instantly rejects Travis, and when his mother confronts him on his behavior, he counters by confronting her that is she lied to him about his real father's whereabouts, and that he is actually located in the city. Max then sets out to search for his father in the hopes of rekindling their relationship. He suddenly encounters Kazam during his travels, who pesters Max into making a wish. Max eventually finds his father, only to learn that he is a musical talent agent who specializes in unauthorized music. But he initially doesn't care because, his father, Nick Mateo by name, is overjoyed to see him again, introduces Max, Mateo, to the other employees of the agency, and gives him free VIP passes to an upcoming concert at the nightclub he works at. Max goes to his personal secret hideout and tells Kazam about his father. They decide to have a bike race through Max's hideout, during which Kazam shows off his powers. Kazam finally, convinces Max to make his first wish, which consists of junk food raining from the sky. While eating all of this, Max suddenly realizes that he owns Kazam until he makes his last two wishes. Max and Kazam go out to see Max's father again. After getting past an intimidating bodyguard, Max and Kazam attend the show, where the performing act, with a little needling from Max, persuade Kazam to join in. The owner of the nightclub, Malik, shows interest in Kazam upon the realization that he is a genie, and he hopes to control Kazam through Max's father. The next day, Kazam stays in Max's home and passes himself off as Max's tutor. Max confesses to Kazam that he and his father aren't really connecting, though Kazam attempts to shirk the issue with some rapping, revealing how he and his best friend, Haber, in 1000 BC first became genies. Max attempts to wish for his father and mother to fall back in love, but Kazam cannot grant this wish because he is not a jinn and therefore not free to grant ethereal wishes. Later that day, Max witnesses his father being assaulted by Malik and his minions and goes to Kazam for help. Kazam just received a record deal as a professional rapper and is reluctant to help Max. So Max uses his second wish to conjure a replacement tape, though this causes an argument and a rift to form between him and Kazam. After school, when Max's father demand his son to hand over the record tape that he stole last night, he does. Then he leaves realizing that he won't get a second chance with him. Later that night, Max is kidnapped by Malik and takes possession of Kazam's boombox, causing Max's father to understand the error he made, though he is also held hostage as well. Malik, having taken control of Kazam's boombox is now in control of Kazam himself. Max is pushed down an elevator shaft by Malik. He summons Kazam in the hopes that he will do his bidding. While Kazam is initially powerless against his master, he soon, breaks free from his oppression and defeats Malik and his minions. Kazam transforms Malik into a basketball and then slam dunks him into a garbage disposal. However, he then finds Max's lifeless body, and wishes that he could have granted Max's wish to give his father a second chance at life. Then, in his sorrow, 
Kazam finally becomes a Jin, and is therefore able to do this for Max. With him, officially a Jin, he pulls Max out of harm's way and carried out of the burning building by Travis. Max's father then shows up and tells him that he hopes to rekindle the bonding with his son, before he takes off with authorities. Kazam is then last seen walking off being grilled by his girlfriend because he doesn't have a job, while at the same time, ecstatic over his newfound freedom. And, that's how this movie is. Thank God I never watched it and I never will. Or else it could have wasted my time. And my apologies will have to go to Shaquille O'Neal who had to voice this movie. Anyways. I don't know who likes or hates this movie. And so I am going to leave it be. Anyways. Fuck Kazam. And fuck Dragon Ball Evolution. Superman Returns is 50 million times better than Kazam. End of rant.